This is a 2002 Toyota Camry. This car is in the shop because it is having some really unusual problems. The owner of the car reports that it bogs down. We took the car for a test drive and we found using a scan tool that um, the fuel trims were oscillating almost randomly all over the place. This car has a 3.0 liter V6 engine, a 1MZ FE that is found in many other models like um, Highlander or Lexus RX 300. And I want to point out to you a couple of unusual features of this particular model. First of all, this car has an EGR um, setup which we don't really see on very many other models. Secondly, you may have noticed that this car has no throttle cable. It has an electronic throttle body, which is really unusual for a 2002 model, at least in my experience. Even though there is no EGR code, um, we're going to try to rule out an EGR malfunction and we're going to do that by blocking off the EGR and I'm going to show you how. The EGR is held on by these three uh, 10 millimeter studs with uh, nuts on them so we're going to undo those and uh, see if we can pull the EGR off of the intake. So we've undone the bolts and we've pulled back the EGR pipe, but not far enough to get the gasket to get the gasket off of the mounting studs. So to get it out the rest of the way, we're going to use a pry bar, like so, and just pry it out so it comes off completely. And uh, there, that did it. Let me take you through these items I have here. This is the gasket for the EGR pipe. This is a marker pen. This is a pair of scissors and this is an ordinary Coke can. And what I'm going to do is use this Coke can to fabricate a block off plate that matches the exact shape of the EGR gasket using this marker pen and these scissors. Here we are all done. Here's what's left of our coke can. Here's our EGR block off plate. Here's our EGR gasket. Now let's go and put this on the car and blow, block off the EGR and see if this changes the running of the car. All right, so the EGR with block off plate is back in place and we're going to take the car for a test drive. Unfortunately, the EGR block off did not produce any result, any change in the behavior of the car. The fuel trims are still all over the place, varying from extreme positive to extreme negative and uh, we still don't know what's going on but at least we have ruled out the EGR system. Thank you for watching.